in this section of chapter nine, we have a couple different topics to analyze. One is sample size, and the other one is kind of looking at confidence intervals a little bit more broadly. So first let's tackle sample size. So I actually found this on a recent Yahoo Answers board and it just cracked me up. So I thought I'd share it with all of you. Um, it said, the bigger the sample size, the more accurate the survey. Taking a 1,000 people at random from a possible million people who will vote is a very, very inaccurate way of sampling. The ideal situation would be to call everyone in the whole United States, and even then you would still not have everyone, because I'm sure there are some people without a phone that would still vote. Wow. Okay, so when I saw this, my head just about exploded. First of all, there's no need to capitalize sample size in million. However, one should capitalize United States as it's a proper noun. And that's just the beginning of the spelling and punctuation issues and grammar issues. But that aside, um, we need to talk about what's correct and incorrect at the post besides the grammar. So it, in a way, they're kind of right. I mean, the bigger the sample size, accurate's not quite the word to use, but you want a larger sample size. So let me highlight that. All right. So that first part became this line right here. So larger sample sizes are generally better as long as they're done well, which is what we're about to talk about. But pretty much everything else is wrong. Um, for one thing, they're completely inaccurate that um, a thousand people at random is not is a very, very inaccurate way of sampling. That's not true at all. A thousand people is perfectly fine. And it's um, inaccuracy. I don't even know what they mean by that. It has nothing to do with accuracy. Well, or everything to, wait to do with it. One second. All right, so now what's incorrect? which is everything else, um, it's a little bit unclear what they're talking about here. So a thousand people is not a very inaccurate way of sampling necessarily. Um, it depends on what they mean by inaccurate. If they mean a bad way of sampling, that's not true. Um, if they mean that it's inaccurate in terms of it has sampling error, well, that is true, but all samples have sampling error. The thing is that the larger the sample is, that it tends to have smaller sampling error, which is a good thing. So if that's what they're trying to say, if they're saying, you know, hey, if you take a bigger sample, you've got smaller sampling error, fine. Now remember, we defined sampling error a long time ago, but it's basically, it's the principle that every sample is a little bit off from your population. No samples are perfect, and all samples are slightly different from each other. That's called sampling error. It doesn't mean you did anything wrong. That's sampling bias. Sampling bias means you screwed something up, right? You did something you shouldn't have. Sampling error just means, eh, you know, samples are samples. They're never going to be perfect, right? Now, the, the person's also right that the ideal situation would be to call everyone. That's called a census. I mean, that'd be perfect. And it, but there are bigger problems with it than just um, people won't answer the phone or don't have phones. Um, you can't get people on the line. You can't get a hold of everybody's phone number, especially now that people have cell phones. Um, you're trying to take a census is what you're talking about. So the ideal situation is a census, right, where you call everybody. But you can't do it for a lot of reasons, not the least of which is not everybody will answer. Um, for example, um, there's an issue with trying to get a hold of everybody just in terms of manpower. How much time are you going to spend trying to get a hold of people? Stuff like that. You don't have the money, the resources, etc. The moral of the story is that in particular, that second line where taking a survey at random from a possible million people is a very, very inaccurate way of sampling. That's just not true. A thousand people is fine as long as the sample is random and unbiased. You cannot stress it enough. That is what is really important to us. And that's what I wrote up here. Quantity versus quality. A lot of people get hung up on quantity, and that's what this person's doing. They're getting hung up on the thousand people. A thousand people, oh, that's terrible. But a thousand people is not necessarily terrible. It doesn't really matter as much to us how many, right, quantity, rather than quality. How well was the sample taken? That's what matters to us, right? When taking a statistical sample, the things we care about are how precise we want to be. That's your margin of error, right? And how confident you want to be. Right? Do you want to be 90% sure, 95% sure, 99%? You're never going to be 100% sure because he's right. You can't take a census, right? The ideal would be a census, but you can't take one because nobody's got the time or the money or whatever. So if you can't take a census for a lot of reasons, that means you're always going to have sampling error, which means you're always going to be off. 
there. And I just kind of highlighted that a little bit. For the, so the red part in particular is the bad part. The thousand people at random is a bad way to do it, a very inaccurate way. That's, it depends on what they mean by inaccurate, but if you're saying bad, that's not true. Um, and so never, never forget, because you're going to always have a little bit of error, that what matters to most more is quality, right? The quality of a sample is more important than the quantity. Right? How well was it taken? Random, unbiased. That always matters more to us than the quantity. How large? Right? I mean, in fact, instead of random and unbiased, I'm going to say how taken? Question mark. So how they took the sample is way more important to us than how many people are in it. A thousand people is fine. Right, as long as you do a good job of taking it. Now, grant you, taking a good sample of a thousand is actually pretty tricky to do, um, especially as people are more and more and more getting rid of their landline phones and just having cell phones. And people are not answering. There's a huge non-response problem. But aside from that, right, it's becoming um, more difficult to make those qualitative or those high quality samples. But nevertheless, that's what matters to us rather than the quantity. Also remember that from, from section 1.5, because that's when we first ran into all this stuff, um, section 1.5, which is right at the beginning of chapter eight, that if you have an unscientific poll, if you let people call in, if you call, charge the money to call, all that stuff, it makes the results worthless. And unfortunately, those are used all the time, especially in the news, because they have to do something for 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And it's just atrocious, the kind of stuff that they will put up there. So be very, very cautious when people are putting out polls to you. You want to make sure that they were drawn in a nice scientific way, namely random, unbiased, all that good stuff. And never, 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 never again in your life should you ever say, well, a thousand people is not very much compared to the population of the U.S. That's, that's a totally bogus argument. What matters to us is precision, our margin of error, and our confidence, and how well it was taken. Those are the things that matter to us for making a sample not how big the population was. We don't care how big the population is for the most part.